We find dinosaurs all over the world, but have we ever found any in Antarctica? Yes, six of them actually, but we're just going to highlight the top three. Number three, Glaciolosaurus is a sauropodomorph found on Mount Kirkpatrick. It's a close relative of Massospondylus. Number two, Antarctopelta was found on the James Ross Island in 1986. It's a nodosaur, a distant cousin of Ankylosaurus. And number one, Cryolophosaurus is the biggest carnivore we found on Antarctica. It's a cousin of Dilophosaurus with a notable head crest on the top of its head that makes it look a little like Elvis. Fossilized teeth, but they keep getting scarier. Level one, a fossilized stingray tooth. It's not very big or intimidating, which explains its low ranking. Level two, a Camarasaurus tooth. This tooth is big, but it was from a plant-eating dinosaur. Level three, this Paleolama tooth belonged to an ancient cousin of camels. It's just sharp enough that I wouldn't want to be bit by it. Level four, a prehistoric eagle ray tooth. This animal basically just looks like a big stingray. Level five, Allosaurus teeth are scary. They're serrated along both edges and were probably built for shredding meat off of their prey. Level six, a Spinosaurus tooth. This spike would especially be terrifying if you were a Cretaceous fish. Level seven, this mastodon tooth looks like a giant human molar, and it was used for crunching up thick foliage. Level 8. Mammoth teeth are scary looking, mostly because of their wicked roots. Level 9. Megalodon teeth are about as scary as they come. These serrations are so sharp you can still cut yourself on them. And level 10. This 15-inch long T-Rex tooth reminds us why we're glad T-Rex is extinct. Have we ever found actual dinosaur skin? Most of the time when we find dinosaur fossils, all that we'll find is the skeleton but on very rare occasions, we'll sometimes find a piece of mud beside the skeleton that preserved in the shape of the dinosaur's scales. We call these fossils skin impressions, but they aren't really dinosaur skin, they're just mud that looks like skin. However, on even rarer occasions than finding skin impressions, we'll sometimes find a dinosaur that mummified before it fossilized. That allowed the skin to stay preserved for long enough to permineralize, which means it fills up with minerals, alongside the dinosaur's bones, like on this Borealopelta skeleton at the Royal Tyrell Museum in Canada. In this case, and a few other similar cases, we've actually found genuine fossilized dinosaur skin. Fossils, but they keep getting older. Level one, a mammoth tooth from around 10,000 to two million years ago. Level two, this is a piece of Triceratops frill from about 65 and a half million years ago, but we're actually still prepping it, so we'll just carefully set it back down. Level 3, a Moabasaurus bone from about 120 million years ago. This specimen has three Utah Raptor teeth marks on it. Level 4, an Allosaurus metatarsal from around 145 million years ago. Level 5, a dinosaur footprint from the end of the Triassic about 208.5 million years ago. Level 6, Lepidodendron was a giant tree-like plant from the Carboniferous. Level 7, Ammonites and their cousins can date all the way back to 393.3 million years ago, but we don't actually have a solid date range on this specimen. Level 8, Eurypterus lived around 432 million years ago and is commonly called a sea scorpion. Level 9, these trilobites are around 500 million years old. Level 10, this is an algal stromatolite, layers of fossilized algae, probably from around 500 million years ago. Five fossils you wouldn't believe exist. Number 5, a turtle that got stepped on by a long-necked dinosaur. This sea turtle was found crushed in the footprint of a sauropod, but it's speculated that the turtle was already dead by the time the dinosaur stepped on it. Number 4, the fish in a fish. This is a famous fossil of Xyphactinus, a large carnivorous fish from the Cretaceous period that swallowed a Gillicus fish whole. Terrifying. Number 3, a fossil of a lobster being eaten by a squid that has a bite taken out of it from a shark. I think this one is pretty self-explanatory. Number 2, the dueling dinos. This is one of the most amazing fossils ever discovered. It's a baby Triceratops and a baby T-Rex who died side by side after an intense battle of survival. Neither of them reigned victorious in this fight. And number one, the fighting dinosaurs. This fossil shows a Protoceratops and a Velociraptor who died in the middle of a fight, possibly when a sand dune tipped over on top of them. The Protoceratops is still biting the Velociraptor's hand.